Greetings to you all, my dear brothers and sisters in our Lord Jesus Christ. Today we reflect on a story of profound tragedy and courage, the beheading of John the Baptist, as recounted in Matthew 14, verse 1 to 12. This passage is not merely a historical recounting, but a heartfelt narrative that speaks to us about the cost of truth the consequences of pride, and the resilience of faith. John the Baptist was a man of unwavering conviction. He stood as a beacon of truth, fearless in his denunciation of Herod's unlawful marriage to Herodias. In a time when speaking truth to power could cost you your freedom or even your life, John did not hesitate because he understood that God's laws are higher than human laws and his loyalty to God's truth was uncompromising. As we read, Herod, though fascinated and to a certain extent fearful of John, ultimately succumbed to the manipulative conspiring of Herodias and the impulsive promise made during a witness moment. Here we see the tragic intersection of political power, personal grudge, and human frailty. Herod's pride and desire to save face in front of his guests led him to commit an act he knew was wrong. This story challenges us to consider our own lives. How often do we find ourselves in situations where our principles are tested. Are we like Herod, influenced by the opinions of others and our desire to maintain a certain image, even at the cost of our moral integrity? Or are we like John, standing firm in our beliefs even when it is inconvenient or dangerous? John's death was not in vain. His disciples took his body buried it and informed Jesus. John's legacy lived on through them and continues to inspire us today. His life and death remind us the pursuit of truth and righteousness often comes with a price. However, it also comes with a promise of eternal life and the affirmation that our sacrifices are seen and honored by God. In a world where truth is often compromised and integrity is undervalued, John the Baptist calls us to a higher standard. He reminds us that being faithful to God's calling may not always be easy, but it is always worth it. His courage and faithfulness challenges us to examine our own lives and to stand firm in our convictions, no matter the cost. Herod failed to live up to his status as a king. After having taken his brother's wife, after having murdered St. John the Baptist, after having pleased as his stepdaughter and all his friends and nobles, he was a man constantly living in anxiety. He continues to live as a prisoner of his vices. My dear brothers and sisters, our guilt will always follow and hunt us. We cannot run away from the evil we have done. This has to be a lesson for us to seek redemption and strive for integrity. Making choices guided by values rather than allowing our flaws to dictate our behavior. So, let us strive to be like St. John the Baptist, standing firm in our convictions and seeking truth and righteousness, even when it is difficult. Let us pray for the strength to overcome our weaknesses and the wisdom to make choices guided by integrity and faith. May we be ever mindful of the consequences of our actions and may we seek to live lives that reflect God's love and truth. Amen.
outside.